guys. Okay, so I just want to make a really quick video about this. Um, if you have not seen Brendan Dassey, A True Story of a False Confession um, with Laura Nyrider and Steve Drizden, um, it's two hours long, but it's really worth watching. It's great, great. Um, <clears throat> at one point, the, and I'm going to link this below so that you can watch this because you know, totally worth watching. Um, but at one point they're talking about the read technique and you know, I've, I've already done a video on this read technique and seen in my video and showed some of the, the slides that they use with their training, some of their training. Um, and Laura brought that up during one of the times that she's speaking and she is showing that the cops are being trained to, during their questioning, um, their initial questioning, their interview, um, they're just getting a feel of how you answer questions and, you know, your, the way that you move, the way that you speak, the words that you use, um, your mannerisms. And so during that interview, they're, they're doing a profile on you, um, you know, a personality type profile where they're just trying to see um, if they can tell later on when they do start the interrogation part, if you're lying. Mm -hmm. So they're, they start out with this, you know, just basic questions and, you know, um, how you would answer questions normally under normal circumstances, you know, how you behave. Um, fine. It's all fine. But they are basically training the cops to think, like uh, Michael Kelly, that he is a human lie detector. And, you know, I know that he claims to be a human lie detector. That's one of his talents. Um, But I think that it, it, it was really interesting, and Laura pointed it out in this in this video that I'm going to link, that one of the things that they they use to tell if someone is telling the truth or lying is when they say things like "I don't know" and "I don't recall." Both of those things mean you're lying. Um, now she doesn't go into this and start naming names, but I'm going to because eh, whatever. Um, their whole thing was about Brendan and false confession. I am more on, you know, I, I want to use this read technique against some of the people that I think we all, at least a lot of us think, are probably lying. Um, especially like Ryan, um, Andrew Colburn. Go back and watch just just in the episode the, where they're testifying and making a murder, just watch. Uh, if you don't want to read the, the transcripts, um, just watch how many times they say, I don't know, or I don't recall. Especially Colburn says, I don't recall a lot. Um, and I just feel like their own read technique just being used against them, I think is kind of funny. Um, especially Colburn, you know, he's, he's clearly showing the signs that's supposed to tell somebody that, <clears throat> excuse me, that they're lying. So I think we all know what he's lying about. I think we all know, you know, what sorts of things he's hiding and, you know, et cetera. But it's just, I just thought it was interesting. I thought it was kind of funny. It made me giggle when I watched that. It, the first thing it made me think of was Colburn. How many times I remember reading through all the transcripts of how many times he said, I don't recall, I don't recall, I don't recall. Um, <laughs> several of the state's witnesses say things like, I don't know, or I don't recall. I just thought it was funny. Uh, and, th and then that's it. That's all. <laughs> I, I just, you know, felt like sharing this uh, this with you, and mostly so you can watch this video. Um, a true story of a false confession is just great.
great. I watched it a couple of days ago or yesterday or something, and um, I've been thinking about it since then. And you know, like I said, first thing that popped in my head, Colburn. And then you know, as I was going through watching some of the other parts, um, Ryan was one of the others that that stood out to me. Um, I'm sure we all can remember when he was asked about what time of day it was that he last saw Teresa. He couldn't remember. If it was daytime, nighttime. Couldn't remember. Last time he saw his buddy, his friend. But like I said, Colburn especially, and I'm sure there's more. I just didn't go through all of it and get more examples, but I'm sure that you all know, you've all seen this, you've all read through this stuff, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but, you know, like I said, watch this, uh, watch this video I'm going to link, and <clears throat> especially when she gets into talking about the read technique is really interesting because of all the things that you see them doing themselves. Anyway, just thought I'd share that. Thanks for watching.